Welcome back to the Synopsis series on Unleashing System Verilog and UVM. Hi, my name is Amish Auza. I am a senior instructor for verification methodologies at Synopsis Customer Education Services. In this episode, randomization brings order to verification. We will feel the power of randomization using System Verilog object-oriented programming. Your System Verilog based test bench is ready to go. Now you want to verify all the different configurations, modes and traffic combinations. It's all in the randomization. But what is randomization? Verification environments are as complex as the device that is being tested. An environment needs to be configured to model real-life scenarios. Then the transactions generated need to correctly represent the transactions for each configuration. We saw in an earlier episode that you can define transaction and component classes to architect your test bench. The power of randomization comes from the randomized function which is built into each class. So what do we want to randomize? Primarily transaction objects and configuration objects. All properties marked as rand in the class are randomized when the built-in randomize function is called on an object. Using randomize we can create different configurations for each simulation run. Then we can generate random transactions to match the configuration. But how do we create different configurations and transactions for different simulations? Every simulator allows you to provide a random seed at runtime. This allows you to generate different values and sequences without modifying your test or test environment. That is the power of randomization. But complex verification environments have many dependencies. For example, the number of slave agents allowed may depend on the number of masters present. And what about illegal values? Your specifications may expressly forbid certain values. To be able to run many simulations, you may want to limit certain parameters like size of transactions or number of components for most of your simulations to maximize the use of your compute resources. Lastly and very important is the testing of corner cases like minimum and maximum sizes and addresses. But how do you control the randomization to consider these conditions? System Verilog also provides a rich constraint language. You can control the boundaries and limits of randomization using constraint blocks. A constraint is a set of conditions for the random number generator. This is one of the five languages that comprise System Verilog. This allows you to harness the full power of randomization. 
For example, a directed test is nothing but a highly constrained random test. Randomization makes it very easy. You do not need to edit the class to change the constraints. Using the with clause, you can create different tests as needed. The with clause allows you to add constraints in line when the randomize function is called. While the with clause is very powerful, it cannot override the constraints defined in the class. Using soft constraints allows you to override the class constraints. Randomization allows you to create many interesting test scenarios. System Verilog OOP has randomized built into each class. There are many methods of controlling randomization, generating different values and sequences of values to create different test scenarios. Directed tests are simply highly constrained random tests. Another episode deals with inheritance. This too allows you to change constraints easily. Here's how you should pace your journey into the System Verilog world. First, get the fundamentals right. Then learn the most important aspects of constraints and inheritance. And then complete your journey with cover groups, assertions, and UVM. To learn more about System Verilog and UVM in depth, Synopsys offers effective hands on training. We have workshops for System Verilog test bench, assertions, and UVM. In North America, our full time instructors focus only on developing and delivering training workshops. They have a combined 60 years of industry experience in design, verification, training, EDA tools, and IEEE standards committees. We will be glad to customize our offerings for your needs. For more information and to register, visit this website. This series includes many short videos on System Verilog and UVM fundamentals. Please give us your feedback and let us know what else you would like to learn about in verification languages and methodologies. This is Amish Oza. Thank you for watching.